Okay. Hopefully my model starts acting good too. <laughs> I don't know what is up with it, but it should be fine now since we'll be on uh, focused on the main screen now. So can't wait for the air art and <laughs> Joe Biden TTS Tom Cruise tweet. That's right. All right, let's uh, let's go. Let me know if it's uh, if it's still too loud. I can turn it down. <gasps> Should we play it in Japanese? We'll play it in English. <laughs> the um, this kind of interface is reminding me a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh. This game supports auto save. When the save icon is displayed at the bottom right corner, do not close the game. Okay. This story is a work of fiction. Names, characters, places, and incidents either are products of the author's imagination or used fictitiously. Any resemblance to actual persons or whatever is coincidental or whatever. Okay. Okay, spooky music. A little bit of like circusy. Okay. There's a something. Are we looking up or down? We're looking down. Okay. So is that a circus tent? I'm gonna throw up. Can we stop spinning, please? Thank you. Oh, it's a merigo. Uh, I, I call it a merry-go-round. Some people call it a carousel. Okay. There's horses on the carousel. Oh, there's a lady on the horse. This is odd. Okay. Hello, kidnapped lady on the horse whose eyes are bleeding. That's not cool. What? Happened? Is she just fully dead? What is happening? I'm scared. Wait. <laughs> she kind of looks dead. Are we supposed to find out who her murderer is? Oh! There's people there. AI. The Simonian Files. Okay. <laughs> that was like a lot. Okay. Day one, Friday. Sig at I. Okay. Friday, 10.54 p.m. Bloom Park. Okay. Oh no. I might be really bad at this game. I might not know how to play this game. Investigators. Who's the blonde boy? Who's the brunette girl? Who are these people? Ah! A tutorial, thank god! Investigation. During investigations, the main character, Date, okay, inspects scenes and collects testimony. Okay, Phoenix Wright, kinda. Progress by examining objects and talking to people. Who is this guy? <laughs> Investigation. Date's position is fixed. Interesting. You can move the cursor into your view. Try looking around and moving the cursor to find something that catches your eye and inspect it. So is this Date? Boss. I'm Date. So I'm the boy. Okay. Uh, that's weird. A horse from merry-go-round. <gasps> <laughs> this voice fucking spooked me, man. Log it. Um, oh, it's Z. I thought it was a two. Okay. Um, can I just... It looks like it's skewer. This is not a message from the criminal. Hi, Iba. The park was already in this state before the crime. My best hypothesis is that this is the result of a teenage prank. Oh, fucking K? Control room. How do I, uh. 
move site. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, well, let's talk to the police. When you speak to a person, you will be presented with choices and look. Thanks for coming out here in this mess. Sure. Let's be a little, uh... Choices conversation. Look will allow you to observe the person you're speaking to. An inspector from Metro. Hope he finds a lead. Uh, thanks for coming out here in this mess. It's my duty, sir. Thank you. Oh. Anything to go on? Not yet, sir. Wow, you're so fucking helpful. I mean, we can talk about the corpse. Body is mounted on one of the horses. We should go get a better look. I take a step forward. Ah, sorry, sir. Could you please not get any closer? <laughs> we haven't taken any footprints yet. I appreciate your understanding. Right. That makes sense. Allow me to assist you. This is Iba. Hi, fucking Iba. <laughs> Her official designated is Eyeball. Ah, that's funny. It's artificial intelligence built into my fake eye. An AI for an eye. Heh. <laughs> okay. You want me to use the zoom, right? Correct. That will allow you to investigate without physically disturbing the scene. Iba's vision. While playing through the story, Iba's special vision mode will allow you to obtain new information. When you use the zoom mode to enlarge the topics like zoom and enzyme in the course. Okay. You can also view controls in F1. Uh. Zoom. Looks like a corpse. Multiple puncture wounds to the front of the torso. Yeah. Cause of death. Blood loss from these wounds. Body temperature and rigor mortis indicate the time the of puns are killing me already. Six hours ago. Six hours that ago. That would place the crime occurring around 5 p.m. The victim was probably stabbed with something pointed and smooth. Like an ice pick. Ice picks aren't necessarily smooth, but. The left eye socket is vacant. The victim has had her left eyeball removed. Her left eye? Yeah, that's weird. The most likely scenario is that the killer or killers removed it. Well, uh, we don't know that for sure. Oh yeah, I'm Crow sure someone else just did. Could have pulled it off the corpse. Not within five hours, it didn't. Impossible. The amount of blood indicates that the victim's eye was removed before her death. They carved it out while she was still alive. R.I.P. Correct. Man, I was just analytical. A local cop. Local cop. Are you serious? Your special agent, Kaname Date. Date. Okay, we are going by Japanese names. You're a member of Abyss, and that means you answer to me. Okay, boss. I called you here to inspect the scene, Date. Sure, boss. But inspecting dead bodies isn't usually part of the job. Usually, no. But tonight it is. Because you know this woman, don't you, Date? I, I know her? I had to tell you. You deserve to know. I know the lady? I don't fucking know her. Okay, I guess I know her. Um... Okay, uh... Anything. Footprints, footprints, anything, anything. Uh, control room. Okay, I mean, there's a bear. Panda ride looks lonely. Um, a bench. More skewed horses. Rough pole columns. Columns, horse. Rough. I mean, fucking, uh. Parasol, fence. Corpse. I knew I'd be bad at this. Any suspects? Not yet. We just found the victim. Too early to say anything for sure. But this could be a copycat killer at work. From the case six years ago. The case six years ago? For whatever reasons you want to elaborate. Okay. Who found the body? Metro got a call about two hours ago. 
Someone heard screaming coming from the park. Mm. Beat cop responded, checked out the scene. And found the corpse. Yeah. Thing is, the caller was anonymous. I'll give you the details later. Conversations. After finishing discussing with topics with someone, they will have new things to talk about. Here's topics that interest you that might lead to other clues. You can always... Yeah. Rain's pretty awful, huh? It's unusual for this time of year. Yeah, it is. It'll be hard to find any use. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, my fucking tail has been in the way this whole time. Oh, I'm a fucking idiot. Oh, god damn it. Oh, why did no one tell me I'm such a fool, man? Duh. Ugh. Guys. 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 Ah, oh, guys. Oh, god bless it. You could have just been like, Sandra, you're in the way, you fucking idiot. God dang. Your tail is adorable. Well, I appreciate it, but I was like totally blocking her view. Right, there we go. Oh no. Yes. Yes, we're good now. My lord. What can you tell me about the victim? Her name's Nadami Shoko. You knew her, right? I, I don't What was the relationship know. like? I heard you two have been close for years. I like how she talks at the same time she talks. I wouldn't say that. Oh, Dad, Dad says not into it. Not interested. Hello? What was that? Oh, what the fuck was that? Analyzing the source of the sound. It came from behind Sonic us, right? analysis indicates the sound originated from inside, inside the merry-go-round central merry -go -round? column. Inside the column? Fucking yikes. Date, use me to see through the column. Oh, you Realize have- Realize the x-ray mode. You have x-ray mode too? Wow. Is there a person? <gasps> Fuck, dog. It appears as though someone is inside. Uh. What? Hey, wait! Shut up! Oh, Dante. I pushed him aside and ran up the platform. Hey, I know you're in there. If you can hear me, say something. No reply. Looking closely, I found a small handle on the column. Grabbed it, it pulled as hard as I can to pull it open. It won't budge. It may be locked from the inside. Damn it. Oh, cutscene. What is this game? Hey, whoever's in there, Woo. stay back. We can open it. There's a lady. Oh, oh, it's the Suki. murderer. Mizuki, you stabbed, I don't remember her name, to death. Wow. Oh, she had blue hair. Really looked like she had silver hair. Unless this is someone completely different. We're in a room. It's What the, is this place? Your dream. This is your dream. Knew it. I'm me. Correct. You are Date. And you are? A, a voice inside Date's head. <laughs> oh, a skeleton scared me. You're dancing. Oh! What the fuck is happening? What the fuck is happening? Where do I even start with this? I can answer all of your queries. All right, Please then. stop dancing. Oh no. Who are you? She a weirdo. That she is. I like her hair though. I'm me, of course. I know that voice. Iva? That's what Iva looks like in human form. Why is she weird as hell? Why do you look like a fluorescent shrimp? 
Get fucked! What are you talking about? I must look so cute that you've lost your mind. You do look fluorescent. Under normal circumstances, I would lecture you about your awful taste, but... What are you doing in my dream? You called me. We called her. My consciousness and your own are linked. This is why I appear in your dreams. Consider me an alter ego. Sure. But I shouldn't waste time explaining further. You will have forgotten this by the time you wake up. Oh, yikes. I will discuss this with Why you. Why are you dancing like a freak? Okay. Trying to sort out the situation. But my brain isn't cooperating. Must be because I'm sleeping right now. Maybe. So, things that I should know. Can't remember. My head's all fuzzy. I'm not my usual self. It's like I'm inside someone else's head. What a strange feeling. Putting that aside, do you recognize this room? No. No, not at all. I suppose that's fine. Let us begin. Begin what? Oh! Her magical girl Somnia. transformation! Activate! Somnia. I think that's how she said that. Oh. Oh. They should have an epilepsy warning, I feel. Hmm. Got it. Got what? Milk. Sorry. I have completed a scan of your somnium. Your somnium. World. Yeah, like insomnia, somnium. Okay. My simulations have encountered several mental locks. Yikes. Mental locks. Yeah, we don't talk about those. <laughs> have you already forgotten? <laughs> Even your critical thinking abilities have dulled. It's very weird to have her on the screen and her on the screen. A little weird. Huh? In short, Somnium is a world built from the deepest recesses of your consciousness. This world is divided into several layers. This is a Phoenix right there, let me foundation, a base component. Sure. Think of these foundations as mental blocks, or simply locks for convenience. Okay. Mental locks must be broken before we can proceed deeper into consciousness. Right. The truth is always hidden within the deepest layers. I believe that. Therefore, we must... Undo the lock. Um, remove okay. the mental locks? Correct. Wow. So I just need to turn on all the lights and open the door? That's not as easy, no. It shouldn't be too hard. Don't be so sure. Appearances in this world can be deceiving. Let's start with the door. Please direct me to the door and give me instructions. I see. So I can do whatever I want with you in this world. Date, please. Well, I suppose that is true, but... Alright, let's do this. Date, please. Wake Date up. Sinking in the brain. Date's dream world in this strange and surreal dream. Trust the light to wake Dante. Date, I don't really understand what's going on. Phrasing. <laughs> Somnia. Insomnia. You explore a dream to discover its hidden memories. Okay. Unlocking the mental locks will allow you to travel deep into the dream. Unlocking all them will reveal information. Okay. A guide to unlocking. This is like a lot. Okay. <gasps> We're like actually playing now. Okay. Uh, the lights. Turn on the lights. Uh, investigate? Investigate. Turn on the light. Oh gosh. Um, well, I can, there's the door. A door locked with a padlock. When investigating things, you can choose a number of options. Okay. Have her investigate the door. Investigate. It appears all I have to do is open this door. Aw, oh, it won't open. Hmm. I can't touch it. Oh. Interesting. That is to be expected. Dreams are not bound by logic. This is Date's Somnium. Why the fuck are is there a dead body there? Dreams? My Somnium? I see. Your mental faculties must be hazy because your body is currently sleeping. I suppose I will have to explain. I'd rather you not disturb my precious sleep. 
Shut up and listen. You tell him, Iva. Date, look at that. W uh, what? The window? The places where the light touches have become colored. Perhaps those parts are now tangible. Every human mind is unique. Every human dream has its own set of rules. What is this game? Let's see. If you understand these rules, the dream world itself becomes malleable. Who was that? I don't know. You must know. This is your dream. It is created from your memories. There's a man. I don't know what to tell you. I have no idea who that was. You may remember upon reflection. I need to give you commands that will unlock the mental locks, right? Correct. Indeed. But it is difficult to predict exactly how an object will behave in Somnia. Think outside the box. Trying different actions will help solve the problem. Now, what should I have you do? Don't forget that I have a veto. I don't understand why he's being all weird. Objects appear, to move to investigate. Okay. Uh, well, I mean, let's, yeah, let's investigate that. Winter iris. Okay, let's touch the winter iris. The winter iris. What? Do you it's not a plant. recognize it? This is an iris that blooms in winter. A flower with a woman's name. What? Winter or iris? Neither of those are necessarily names. Smell the iris! Hmm. Hey, I didn't know you could smell. I can't. I'm pantomiming. Uh-huh. Isn't it easier to visualize this way? Sure. Whatever. So that not enough. Pardon? Harder. You gotta smell it harder. What? Uh, okay. <laughs> what is this game? Oh! I caused an earthquake. <laughs> Amazing suction. Bravo. Marvelous. What is that face? What are you experiencing so regularly to cause this to happen in your dreams? You were able to touch it. Correct. So I mean, kind I just of. Need to keep this up. Something like that. Okay. Advance your progress. Controls. Okay. Turn on the light. A switch. The thorns are gone. Turn on the light. Now I can activate the switch. There's a woman. Okay. Isn't this rewarding, Date? Another place you can touch. I would rather be sleeping. Okay, this is so odd. Open the door. Okay. Uh, there's wine, there's a basket, and there's a light. Um, let's look at the wine. A glass of wine. Take it, smell it. Does it smell like wine? Hmm. The note I detect smooth tannins and stone fruits. Hmm. Where did you learn that from? Why would you have something like this in your dream? Bonsai wine nineteen. Even a guy like me enjoys good drinks and better company. But these social engagements never seem to turn out well for you. Stop. Don't remind me. Hmm. Okay. We could still taste it if we wanted. Basket. A basket. I cannot see inside it. Tackle? Where the basket? Search the basket. A model of a UFO. A stuffed chupacabra. And a one dollar bill. Occult stuff, maybe? Does the occult interest you, Date? The truth is out there. <laughs> Date, it is a please. trending topic. Anyone could have encountered items such as these. True. Somebody's into the occult. This is somewhat different than occult. Okay, what about a the floor lamp? lamp shaped like a rose? Can we smell it? Lift it up, kick it, knock it. Lift it up. Oh, we can't. It won't move. 
must mean I don't flinch. I hold my ground like a mountain. Uh huh, Dante. I'm I sure interpret that's what it, it more is. as your irritating personality spreading like pollen in the wind. The tears won't stop. <laughs> must be allergies. You're just sleepy. Okay. Um. A lamp. It Let's turn it off. But how? I cannot find a switch or a plug. Even in my dream, I don't get what I want. In fairness, this is your memory, but this is not your house. It's somebody else's house. Somebody from my memory. But I have no idea. It could be anyone. Not necessarily. Dreams do contain an element of randomness, but oftentimes they draw together individuals with strong personal connections. Hmm. Dreams are constructed similarly to how information is transmitted through the brain. So what do you take away from all this? Don't turn off the light. I want to see this. It's kind of dirty. Shut up. Oh. So I cannot. Ooh. Oh, skeleton. A skeleton. It appears to be bleeding from the left eye. Same as the other lady, right? There yeah. are traces of blood around the left eye socket. Even though it's just bone? This skeleton is clinging to some small bit of life. I hope my bones die and stay dead. <laughs> they should. You tell him, Date. Alright, I guess we're kicking the lamp. A lamp. Kick it. Kick it. <laughs> oh. You don't have to kick it so hard. Give it everything you've got. That uh, didn't Sorry. even budge. I saw the skeleton's skull move slightly. Hey, Date. Are we gonna get him too? Huh? What are you, a thug? Okay. Skeleton. A skeleton. We can kick him. Let's hit him. Know this, skeleton. <laughs> I. Hi! Yeah! We knocked his head off. This is very weird, but we're just going along with it. Oh god, the whole world's Look, collapsing. The wall. I'm not supposed to do that. Okay, so I can make wrong choices. That's good to know. Do you have an irrepressible urge for destruction? You've been even if Sorry. I did, adults have to learn moderation, you know. Was that the right thing to do or the wrong thing to do? Are you sure you don't know? I don't know. He looks like some old man. You could describe him a little more generously. Hmm, a hidden Ida in the Sun Mother's always went somewhere. Hmm. Can't eat anymore, I'm stuffed. Uh, okay. What is this? What? It's his, it's her eye! Okay, I don't understand why I got that. A gun, the door. Uh, uh huh. Door. A door locked with a padlock. Open the door. I suppose this just needs a key. That's right. My dreamscape is all about staying level headed and being smart. Have you no shame lying about yourself like that? Not at Hi, TV. How That's are you? I, I see. No, we're definitely gonna knock on the door. Knock on the door. Knock, knock, and hello. Never thought I'd hear you make a reference like that. Well, trying to be an AI beloved by all mankind. Is that right? Why isn't anything happening? I guess I just don't get it. Okay, I don't know what that was either. The knock, knock, and hello. A gun came out of the skull? Investigate it. Why is there a gun in this house? This house has a skeleton in it. Anything can happen. I hear it's common in the Kyushu area. In fact, what? it is said that they place hand grenades in the egg cartons in their refrigerators. Who That's did you hear not that real. From? Okay, I guess we're gonna pick it up. It won't go off? It should be fine. 
don't pull the trigger and it won't go off. I mean, I get this is a dream, but... Look at this hot magna. I could ventilate some crooks with this thing. Don't get excited. Remind you of anyone? No. Okay, you picked up the gun. She said I can't eat anymore. I guess that was just maybe to make me get into the kitchen. Okay. A door We're gonna kick the door. Oh, put the gun in the keyhole. Do you think something this size would fit? It looked like some fit if you work it in a little. Try Jesus Christ. The tip. I suppose. It didn't work. Smug AI is the I best see. life. The gun was the key. Well, well, well. Seems I was key in helping this escape. Okay, that's it. This dream is over. I suppose this dream is over then. Guess I'll wake up now. Good. They knew what they were doing. Oh, definitely. I'll open it. mom or whoever mom, they're dead and he's got the gun oh whoa awaken okay okay my ex <laughs> I'm sure it is. Oh, day two, Saturday. Saikai. Okay. Police headquarters on Saturday, 9.21 a.m. Hey, boss. You've got quite the office. Good morning, Date. Morning, boss. I was waiting for you. Boss, your office is weird. Like, real weird. Police Have you met my partner? Too. This is my childhood friend, Mario. He's a good listener. I tell him all my stories when I get lonely. Uh huh. Mario <laughs> worked for boss's mental health. RC Overall car. length of 15.35 inches, width of 8.8, .8, height of 5.35, and a body weight of just a hair over 830 grams. This RC car has friction dampers on the front and oh, rear axles damn. as well. Damn. Uh, how do you know all this stuff? <laughs> I used to be a flag girl for RC car racing in my glory days. Sure. Shelves. Volleyball. It's a volleyball. Slugger ball. It's mm. a soccer ball. Looking at that reminds me of my old boyfriend from high school. Boss's love interest must have been an athlete. The broom. A broom. We're not gonna talk about the like art easel. Fishing pole? Fishing flag. Oh, this one. Big catch on it. Soba sign. Soba restaurant curtain. I think it's true that a tanuki's ball sack can stretch up to 10 square feet? No, it's a very weird Japanese thing. Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't know. A cabinet. A coffee maker. I can't live without coffee. There's this weird Japanese thing about the tanuki with big balls. I don't know the whole lore, but it's there's lore. I love it smooth and dark. Sure you do, boss. I'm always amused by boss's ability to say make anything sound dirty. I wonder if she does on purpose. Probably. The king shows you piece. Seems right. Computer. She has a computer on her desk. Type with a monitor built in. Ew. Bookshelf full of flies and bind flies and files and binders. Don't know what of. 
books, manga, movies, games, that sort of stuff. What is she doing here? Whatever she fucking wants, man. That's rug. a Persian rug, you know. Very expensive. Oh yeah. How much? Ten billion yen. That's a lot of yen. What are you in elementary school? I don't. Okay. Boss's desk. There are stickers all over the front. That there are. Pumpkin. You ever ancient why lore we call that originated or that one No, it's ancient what lore. What if that pumpkin's name was Bill? What? Sorry, it was funnier in my head. I'm sure it fucking was, dog. Birthday banner. Bookshelf. Birthday banner. Happy birthday banner decoration. Birthday party was a while ago though. Chair. A chair. Darts machine. An electric darts Why do you game. Have this? So if we're trapped down here when World War Three starts, we'll Jesus have Christ! To do. Too close to home. I think that's everything I can ask about. Talks? <laughs> oh, I'm shook by that as well. Boss's friend, Mario. Okay, what's up, boss? Uh, about the case six years ago. Hey, remember the case you brought up yesterday? The one that happened six years ago? <sighs> Date, forget about it. What? It's been a long time since I've been at a crime scene, and I got a little carried away, and... Look, it was a slip of the tongue, okay? Shouldn't have said anything. That just makes me want to know even more. That case has nothing to do with this one. But it might. Last night you said this could be a copycat crime. Yes, that's my point. It might be a copycat killer, but it can't be the same killer. That's impossible. Literally impossible. So it's not necessary for you to know about past cases. It would only cloud your judgment. I don't accept that. Give it up, Date. What's the status of the investigation about Mizuki? So you still haven't cleaned up this place. Uh, what about Mizuki? Interrogators say she hasn't said a word since we found her. The doctors say she's traumatized. She can't speak. Doesn't surprise me. She's seeing a specialist at Central Hospital right now. Did you take her to the hospital after we found her? We did. Were you with her this whole time? You're like her legal guardian then. No, she just lives with me. Oh, yikes. Mizuki Okiru. <laughs> Okiu. Okiura. Girl found the merry go round. She's 12 years old! She's in sixth grade. Certain circumstances boss to living together, but we aren't blood related. Sort of like stray cat that found her way into my home. In any case. We're not going to get anything from her. Okay. Who's this? Who who's Renji? Have you picked up Renju yet? He's at a police station nearby being interviewed. He's not a suspect yet, just standard procedure stuff. Shoko's ex husband. Okay. Mizuki's fault. Okay. Not I to mention what an old Renji friend was of doing mine. Last night. I did call him a few times. He didn't answer. So he the... didn't? No. So the, the local police tried his phone too, but they got the same result. So the lady is Mizu... Mizuki's mom? No one was able to get a hold of him until this morning. We explained the situation to him. Had him verify Shoko's corpse. Yikes. And naturally started asking him questions. Hmm. What's the status? Who do you think I am, Date? Uh, you're my boss? The commander of Abyss, Metropolitan Police Department? I mean, my name. Boss. Huh. I honestly don't know. I've been calling you boss for six years, so... Trust me, it's been more than six years. I suffer from a memory disorder. Can't remember anything past six years ago. I've been having flashbacks recently, fragments of my Wait, past. What does your name have to do with our investigation? Because if you knew me well enough, you wouldn't have to ask. Ah, 
So, nothing to report then. Got it. Are there any leads at all? I don't know if I would call them leads. What about the ice pick? The one we found in Mizuki's hand? We were able to identify the manufacturer, but it's sold nationwide. It would be impossible to pin down the buyer. <sighs> Damn. We did determine that the shape of the pick and the puncture wounds Match. on the victim match perfectly. We also discovered that the blood on the pick is the victim's. Meaning that ice pick was probably the murder weapon. Almost definitely. Sick. About the ice pick. The pick Mizuki was holding? The only prints on it are hers. Yeah. The evidence is really stacking up against her. No. She couldn't have done it. That's impossible. It's not, but... Well, then you better hurry up and clear her. She is important to you, right? Any other information? Let's see. We have some more information about the victim, Shoko Nadami. It's up on the database. Although it's probably nothing you don't already know. Well, maybe not. I haven't seen her for over a year. Still, you know more about her than anyone else on the case, right? It's part of the reason why I assigned you to this. Nadami Shoko, 36 years old. Female, residence, Maguro District. Met Date Kaname five years ago through her husband, Okira okay. Renju. Date and Renju were so called old drinking buddies. Renju and Shoko had one child together, right. a daughter named Mizuki. Again, her hair looks very in gray in here, and it looked very, like, blue earlier, so we'll see. Four years ago, they were divorced. Shoko returned to using her maiden name, Nadami. Okay. I should also give you this. It's a picture of Shoko. You'll need this when you're trying to get information, right? Yeah. Since you don't have a cell phone. I took Shoko's picture and put it in my pocket. Did whoever identify who's called in? The person who reported the screaming? Right. Mm, unfortunately, not yet. What's the holdup? They didn't identify themselves over the phone. But you should have a location by now. No, the local phone or whatever. Didn't she say that? All we know is that it was a payphone. Yeah. A payphone? That's odd. It is unusual. Whoever it was clearly didn't want us knowing their identity. They may have even been the killer. Hmm. Uh. AI, what's up? Iba, how's it going? Oh, weird. You're being weird. Respectfully, what the fuck are you doing? Hey, Iowa, why'd you do- why'd you do that? Hello! No, not hello! I told you not to just pop out of nowhere like that! I do not understand your concern. Boss knows me by now. Well, still. <laughs> yeah, awkward. What's up, Iowa? Why'd you come out? I haven't been getting a lot of exercise lately. You're joking, right? <laughs> It's been five years since we first met. One day I got called into the control room and Pewter, the engineer, showed it to me. The official title Whoa, is Whoa, shit! You may call her Iba. The artificial intelligence contained within this sphere is nothing short of miraculous. An autonomous artificial intelligence birthed from collective nanotechnology. Its ability to think is controlled by a program we call the Wadjet System. Special Agent Date, from today forward, this is your partner. She will be your personal computer and your personal companion. Computer be looking a certain way. I was living in my head ever since. She gathers information runs analysis. She can also access wireless networks and hack onto computers. Oh, while she's in my boss lock, we communicate through an artificial nerve in my brain. So let us talk without. With, let us speak. With, let us talk without speaking. A 
So about Iva. Hey boss, is it possible to do something about her personality? Don't ask me. I didn't create her. Get Pewter to tinker with her. Wasn't the AI ball your idea though? Yeah, but I didn't choose her personality or the way she talks. You can thank Pewter for that. I don't know what I'm supposed to ask her for. You know you're kind of cute like that? Why'd you come out? Okay, back inside. No. Okay. I'm giving you an order. Does not compute. <laughs> Why'd she come out? Okay, really now. What's the real reason you came out? There is something I need to report to the boss. To oh. me? Correct. I could have had the message relayed through Date, but that would have been less efficient. I concluded that it was better to have the both of you hear this together. Aren't you wasting a lot of time explaining this? Please listen quietly. I have determined who reported the crime. Oh, huh? shit. You have? <laughs> who? Jesus Christ, Iba. I found the payphone that the caller used. It was near the location of the crime, Bloom Park. Mm -hmm. Thus, I decided to check the surveillance footage of any security cameras operating Sorry, they're being nearby. loud upstairs. So you found a way into that database? That is correct. That area has little foot traffic, even less at night. The time of the report was around 9 p.m. Cameras only caught one person in the area around that time. I analyzed the footage and was able to obtain a facial recognition match. Oh, shit. They were registered as a person of interest in the police database. Oh my god, who was it? Who is this Pokemon trainer boy? Oda. Matsushita. Oda. Matsushita. 24. I have marked his address on the map. That is all. Date. Way ahead of you, boss. Let's go, Iba. Affirmative. Huh. Okay. Aren't I? I receive that compliment frequently. Your attitude isn't, though. So, am I cute or not cute? You're cute. I was joking. I don't understand your joke. Can you explain what's funny about it? Nope, not cute at all. Nah, she's a cutie. Okay. Must you shoot the diner? Go! Are we, are we going? Hello? There we go. It would have gone to a good bathroom break. I forgot to do a bathroom break. Saturday at 10 18 a.m. The Masushita Diner. Is it going to be very weird, is it not? Oh, Looks hello. like a sushi place. Doesn't surprise me. I'm hello. sorry we aren't open yet. Oh, I'm not a customer. I'm here for something else. Police investigative work. I'm with the MPD. I flashed my badge. Oh, heavens no. I is my boy. Is Ota in trouble? Yes. Kind of, Calm maybe. Calm down, ma'am. I'm just here to ask some questions. She hurried out of the kitchen. And oh! you're Ota's... Put that knife down! His mother. And your name, ma'am? Mayumi Matsushita. Mayumi. Miss Matsushita. Before we talk, could I make a request? Put the oh. knife down. Could you put that knife <laughs> down, please? Goodness, sorry, sorry. Jesus Christ. Mayumi put the knife down on the table beside her. Oh, my mom. You're so cute. Uh, the knife table. Knife. There's a knife on the table. Something ain't carved on the handle. Okasan. Oh, it says, Mom, thanks for everything. A kitchen knife with a floral pattern. And there's something written on the handle. Mom, I love you always. That's not what it says. It says, thanks for everything, but no worries. Ota gave me that knife for Mother's Day when he was in elementary school. 
He knows how much I love flowery designs. I've used it every single day since he gave it to me. Oh, it's more than just a kitchen knife. It means the world to me. Condiments. Salt, pepper, a blend of red cayenne and spices, and an unidentified liquid. Yes? This yeah. is Mayumi's black sauce. A special kind of eel sauce, maybe? A large jellyfish. Sure. It's a large jellyfish in the middle of this mm -hmm. restaurant here. Kuroda Kazuaki's cheek boiled in red wine. Let's hope that's not what it sounds like. <laughs> Purple chopsticks. Window. Nothing but a window. Autographs. That is the autograph of Uruka from Dark Zone Kalimas. Who? Celebrities autographs. Okay. Poster. Beer poster. He's cute. You have zero standards, <laughs> Kaname Date. Shit, I was like, I don't like her. Beer ad. Menus. Menus written on the wall in Tanzaku paper. A kitchen. I see the kitchen area past the counter. Uh, sorry. The counter. The counter! Kitchen knife. Floor pile and kitchen knife on the table. Looks like Oda gave it to Mayumi for Mother's Day. We already, we already looked at it. Kitchen knife with floor pattern. Okay. Children's seat. Child's tear. Swinging doors. A swimming door. Swinging. A swinging door. <laughs> Low tables. Mats. This cushion. reminds me of the funniest props compilation I saw. You I'm sure it does, I but back for that reference. I don't get that reference, I don't think. Slippers. Packing. Do you want to see? It was delivered a little while ago. She's Any mad. Any idea what's inside it? It's bound to be merchandise from that horrible succubus. Uh, uh, Mom! She forces Oda to buy them. I know it. Mmm. Oda's addicted to sex. What is it? What is it? I, we can use our x-ray vision, right? What's in the package? What's in the package? What's in the package? X-ray vision. Oh, I'm scared. What is it? We should be able to use our x-ray vision! Ah! X-ray vision the box! I'm supposed to read the, the delivery slip? The sender is Great Grin. A popular online store. Four? The product description reads, Solid Model. Oh, what is it? Let me look in- <laughs> I want to look inside it. Oh, I didn't mean to open the menu guide. I should be able to, to x-ray vision it. Ah, uh, What is- what is it? It's from Amazon. Alright. Okay, I think that's kinda- that's kinda it. It's a mop and a bucket. Does this remind you of your delinquent youth? Calm down, Hey, now, don't judge a book by its cover. Besides, I have no memory of my youth. I would know. Oh. Alright. I guess we'll just ask her about it. Oh. Should we sh no, we shouldn't jump stage to it. Let's just look at her. Oh, just mom. Alright. Tell me about your restaurant. Oh, it's just a little diner. But not to toot my own horn or anything. We do get quite a lot of customers here. I bet you do. I manage it with my husband. But it can get pretty hectic during lunchtime. Peculiar. What? This establishment is near the Kawasaki district that's been off limits for eight years. That could mean. Never mind. Huh? That could mean what? How long have you been here? Eight oh, years? About 30 years. 30 ago. years! It's a lot we of years. Had to borrow a lot of money to get started. But back then, everyone was willing to lend you money. They're still like that. Where's your husband? I 
think he went to buy some ingredients. He comes and goes mm. all the time without telling me. This is nothing new. Something's weird about her. Shoko. Oh, what about Shoko? She, eh? About the weather. Nice leather. Rain last night was pretty bad, wasn't it? The rain? Oh, right, yes. What? Something is so off about her. What is off about her? About Shoko. I decided to ask her about Shoko just in case. I brought a picture of Shoko with me and showed it Does to Mayumi. Does this woman look familiar to you? No, I don't recognize her. Who is she? No one. Don't worry about it. Your son killed her! No, I'm kidding. Is Oda here? That boy, he's been hanging out at this office building lately. What kind of office? Oh, what was it? It's a place where irresponsible young men hang out. <laughs> Nonconformists and the like. What, what? What do you mean? Like gangsters? Oh, heavens no, nothing like that. What are you talking about? Oto wouldn't go to a place like that. Then... Oh, I remember. It's a production office. An entertainment company. What's the name? Um... Or where is it located? Do you know anything about where your son is? I'm sorry. <laughs> My memory's been so spotty lately. Why does Zoda hang out there? Because there's a goddess there. It's the lady! I don't remember her The evil succubus lady. Who's the goddess? Uh, what? Ota says it all the time. A goddess. More like a witch, if you ask me. Sheesh. I'm good, I'm good, Linda. A witch, huh? I'm being a detective. Yes! A witch put a spell on my poor Ota. Makes him spend all his money on her. Is she is she gonna be like an anime idol like me? <laughs> you see that box over there? <gasps> yes, what's in it? The one on the table? Yes. Just look. You'll <gasps> see what I mean. Yes, yes, I wanna look so bad. Let me look at it. Open the box. We should look inside. Yes, we should, bitch. Yes, we should, bitch. Use the x-ray mode. What is it? Is it an anime figure? It is an anime figure! I knew it! Is it a squirrel? She's got ears! Oh, what is this? A solid PVC model of a person. She's got ears! I see... I see ears. Something's written on the base. What's written on the base? appear to be some kind of metal. The permeability of x-ray vision should make them legible. A set. Oh, I'm getting a memory? Allow me to investigate. A moment, please. Bitch, we don't have a moment. Nah. So the witch is working there. Yes. That good for nothing temptress. For that I knew she was an idol. She's an idol. I'm not an idol, I guess. For internet personality, I don't know what you want to call me. Do you know her name? I'm assuming it's not Witch. Her name? Um, I don't remember. It's s, -S sand sa <laughs> What could I it be? Call her the Witch. All right, I'm getting nowhere. She doesn't remember the talent or the company. Even I am at a loss. What do you mean? We can yeah. look it up by that model. How the fuck do I get her to, like, fucking... Description says something about a solid model. Bitch. She said, give me a second to fucking look at it, and now she's, like, not... She can't tell us anything about it? Can I call him? Can you call him? Yeah, we need to talk to him. Yes. Does he have a cell phone? A cell phone? Why would he need a cell phone if we have a phone at the house? Amen. Doesn't have one? He better not. Waste of money. You can abandon this line of questioning, Date. 
Ota does have a phone. I found his number. Call it. I have already attempted to call multiple times. There is no connection. Either the phone is off, or he has no reception. Let's hope he's not face down in a gutter somewhere. Jesus Christ, Dante. That would be unsanitary, as well as a violation of waste disposal codes. Dante, I found some information about the figure. Yes, what Aceite is it? Is the name of a popular female musician. That sounds like our witch. Is Aset a group name? No, it is a single artist. An Aset Great. figure, huh? Correct. What's the name of her talent agency? Lemniscate. Lemniscate. Sorry, what? I repeat, Lemniscate. Renju owns that company. Ooh! Correct. Uh, excuse me. Does the name Lemniscate ring a bell? Oh, yes! That's where Ota goes. Iba, bring the car around. At once. So maybe, um... <laughs> So maybe Renji dropped her as a talent, and so he killed his wife? That seems a little extreme, but, uh, what can you do? Oh, I should've... Okay, I'm about to pee. Okay, I'm gonna go pee. Give me one second. I'll be back in two swishes of a cat's tail. My glasses on. Why do I want me to put my glasses on? Look, 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 look. Ooh. Did I use the bathroom? <laughs> I don't think I used the bathroom. I just let kid in and out of the house. I didn't actually use the bathroom. <laughs> Face palm, you forgot to use the bathroom. It's all good. It's all right. He's a guy truck. Oh gosh. It's all good. Okay. So now we're at Lim Limniscape. Quarter till noon on Saturday. Oh, I forgot to put my glasses on. All right.
Bum, bum, bum. Yes, it is. Correct. I'm so nervous about <laughs> what's gonna happen. Are you Ota Matsushita? Who are you? Oh, he's a douche. I showed him my badge. I'm from the MPD. <laughs> the police? Oh, he knows. That's right, homeboy. The police. It's a large window. A plant. Date, look! Ants! Look at them go! Yay! We need to have a discussion about your obsession <laughs> with insects. Oh. Abstract painting. What is that supposed to be? I do not know. Kinda looks like the world in a way. Incomprehensible painting. Sofa. So far a sofa. It's a sofa. It's a sofa. Low table. A low hey, table. Ayla, what do you think would happen if I flipped this table over right now? It would be very loud, and then you would end up with a flipped table. Sorry, I'm putting on my my jacket because it's freaking cold in this room. It would come out of your salary. Yeah. <laughs> yeah you're probably right. Guess I won't. But I know what I like, and I don't like that. That's okay. High table. That is a high school. A high school? No, Date. Why did he do that? Why does he pretend like he doesn't know what's... what things are? There's a door over there. There's a girl, receptionist, with huge breast, <laughs> sitting behind the desk. Damn, Date. Can I please stop? <laughs> Jesus Christ, please. There <laughs> Oh, Lord. I love when we don't see people as people. That's super cool. Oh, there's a laptop. Break that thing in half? No. You can pay for the damages. Damn it. Go to his laptop. All right, let's talk to him. Yeah. Could you look at me? No. I'm kind of busy right now. He kind of sounds like Deku. No. Kind of. What do you What do you type in? Nothing. Could you stop bothering me, please? Tell me about what last last night. Last night? Don't play dumb, kid. Yesterday, 9 p.m., you called the police from a payphone. You told them about the screaming you heard coming from Bloom Park. I have no idea what you're talking about. All right, no, don't look. We either do this here, or we I can, take you down Yeah, you tell him, Date. Do you have a warrant? Yes. Article 2-3 of the Execution of Law Enforcement Code. Unless initiated by legal process, no person shall be detained or obligated to answer any questions without explicit consent. This is the type of kid I hate the most. The ones who are educated. Definitely Deku? Yeah, very much sounds like Deku. Let's just look at him. He won't even look in my direction. He's just typing away his laptop. How did you know that? Because I'm psychic. <laughs> Not, they please! <laughs> Excuse me? Punch him! Do we really have to punch him? That doesn't seem like... There's nothing else I can do. I'm just supposed to punch this kid? He's like six. He's not like six. He's like how over old. All right, let's punch him. Date, wait. Causing a disturbance in public will result in disciplinary action. <laughs> what should I do? I have an idea. Give me a moment. All right. Is she gonna hack into his laptop? I'll give her a little bit longer. And the stuff you got a reason to be. That's right. All right, let's kick him. I told you to wait. Waiting's just pissing me off more. Perhaps your dosage needs to be increased. Eh? What? Listen to me, Date. Eh? My dosage. Ota's PC is connected to the internet via Wi-Fi. And? I was curious, so I hacked into it. Good for you, Iba. Let me read. 
Oh, he's messaging people. Does Tessa refer to Aset? That is a popular fan nickname for her. That means Mato has to be Ota. Correct. His However, at is his full real Ota name. Is the one operating the other three accounts as well. What? what? Optical protein fiber, Pongo Ponko, and KG are all Ota's sub accounts. Ota is insulting Aset and defending her all by himself. That's hilarious. This is what's known as a straw man sock puppet or false flagging. Damn. This kid is pathetic. He's bored. Hey, kid. Hey, kid. What do you want? Are you optic fiber? I'm gonna tell Asa. Tell her what? That you're sock puppeting for her on two witter. Two witter. Uh, 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 what are you talking about? You should drop the attitude. You shouldn't make those kinds of accusations. Do you want to get sued for defamation? Optical protein fiber, Pongo Ponko, and KG are all your sub accounts. Optical protein fiber is a great name. What? How do you know that? I told you, kid. I'm, I'm psychic. psychic. Now, I have some questions for you. <sighs> Fine. Why does he care if he's whatever they called it, false flagging or whatever? <clears throat> Why are you here? I'm waiting for Tessa to come out. This is an office building, not a concert hall. As I said. This is the main facility of Lemniscate Entertainment's production branch. There are multiple studios kitten. for recording and broadcasting in this building. Tessa is... A kitten! Off the keyboard. Recording a podcast today. Okay, and? You think you can just wait and talk to her? That's creepy as hell, dog. When did you start the fake accounts? Not only were you faking the whole thing, you made sure to add her so she'd see it. But if she doesn't see it, she won't know that I'm protecting her. Oh, the flame. Don't you think all those comments hurt her feelings, even if you defend her? But in the end, I made it so everyone became her fans and got along and... That's so fucking That's weird. That's not the point. <sighs> I'm sorry. Don't do that to your Oshis, guys. If I'm your Oshi, don't do that to me. Just don't do it again, okay? Now, tell me about I'm your- I'm gonna ask you again. Were you the one who reported the screaming at Bloom Park around 9? Y yes Why were you in the area? Because he was I, stalking um, tests. You better Probably. tell me, or I'll tell everyone about your little imaginary enemies. Hey, everyone! <laughs> uh, this guy... well, okay, you... okay, I'll talk! In Just... the actual building! Hey, everyone! <laughs> Stir up shit and use your main account to defend them and all their hopes out will notice. Yeah, like, that's so fucking creepy. I would never do that. Same. Thank you, Lindo. I appreciate you. About last night. I went to Bloom Park because I was supposed to meet someone. Did you enter the park? Yes. So who were you meeting? A girl named Mizuki <gasps> Okuyura. What did you say? Oh shit! Are they in love? Mizuki Yokiyura? She's the daughter of the president of Lemniscate. Do you know her? Yeah, I know her. Why was he meeting her? How do you know her? She's just a friend. Yeah, she better be. I <laughs> thought they please. What? Why do you care? Where and how did you two meet? Um, here. The Lemniscate Lobby. Yeah, it makes sense. Mizuki is friends with Tessa. I was talking to Tessa one day and she just comes up like, hey. When was this? Last September. So, I guess the relationship has lasted over a year now. Wait, so they're boyfriend girlfriend? You call it a relationship? Oh, so they're not. Well, what am I supposed to call it? Mizuki's awesome. Mizuki killed someone, maybe, or whatever. Anyway, I have her look over my work sometimes. Work? I write light novels. Really? What's your pen name? Odoin Kyoma. That is a lie. <laughs> Database searches reveal no professional. That is a lie. Ever submitted work under that name. Hey, maybe he's not professional. Maybe he's writing fanfic. Hey, Ota. How about you stop lying to me? My third eye can see through your bullshit. Uh, well, I'm not a published author. I'm an aspiring author, to be exact. Right. He's on so, AO3. Anyway. 
Mizuki reads my novels. I get notes and advice from her. From a sixth grader? She's surprisingly insightful. He's She's like sixth grade. To be an editor for sure. Can you provide a detailed account of last night? Around 8.10 last night, I got a call from Mizuki saying she wanted to meet me at Bloom Park. He really- he's not the voice actor for Deku, but he sounds a lot like him. She sounded scared. I don't think it's him. You know how that area is run down and abandoned? I think she wanted me to go with her as protection. But why Bloom Park? Someone messaged her on Nile. What is Nile? Nile is a popular messaging application for smartphones and PCs. What did they say? She didn't tell me exactly, but it said to come to the merry-go-round at Bloom Park tonight. Who sent it? I don't know. But Mizuki was determined to go. Hmm. Okay, so whoever it was had what a vendetta next? against her? I met up with Mizuki and we went into the park. <gasps> Cutscene. Is her mom already gonna be there? That's a fucking yes! That's a fucking yes! That is her- She doesn't seem scared. She doesn't seem scared at all! You just left her there? Did you leave her there? Tanjiro for Demon Slayer. Yes! Very Tanjiro-esque. You left a 12-year-old girl by herself? I didn't mean to. I was panicking. People do stupid things when they're in fight or flight mode. Like when people grab their pillow and run out of their house in a fire. Jeez, you're a real hero, kid. Dude, he's like he's like her age. What do you expect him to do? See, I knew He saw a dead body. This is why I didn't want to tell you. Is that why you didn't identify yourself on the phone? You seriously didn't think we'd find you? Mizuki would have told us everything. I didn't think she would. Why wouldn't she? She said that if she ever got caught going out at night with someone like me, her roommate would kill her. <laughs> Which is us. Ew. Ew. Don't say that. Ew. That was a weird good girl. I didn't like that. Why did you use a payphone? I tried using my cell phone at first, but my heart was pounding and I was scared and my hand was shaking. And with the rain last night, it kind of slipped out of my hand. He broke it. You dropped it? Yeah, right into a puddle. Iba, can you trace the last signal that Oath's phone sent out? Near Bloom Park, just past 9pm. Yep. Check that. The phone has not been turned on since. This is telling the truth. I thought it checked out before. Hey, Ota, what are you doing? Tessa! Tessa! Is she, does she have ears? Is she a cat girl? I thought she'd be cuter. I'm disappointed. And you are? Sorry, sorry. We should call her by Mr. her Date fake name, Asa. Asa, what's up? He came here to ask me about what happened last night. You mean a detective? That's right. Wow! I've never met a real detective before! I thought she'd be cuter. That's what I'm saying. I thought she'd be cuter. She's supposed to be an idol or whatever. Homegirl looks average as hell. No <laughs> but people can like whoever they like. Udate, your adrenaline level is rising. Do we think she's cute? Is something the matter? No, nothing. Date, you don't think she's cute. Should we, uh... Yes, you're friends with Mizuki, that's right. Mizuki Okiura? That's right. Yeah, I am! Mr. Okiura runs the agency, and Mizuki is his daughter, so... We hang out sometimes. If she's 12, you're probably like 13. Is that 13. how you became friends? There's more to it than that, but basically... I was cuter, that's what I'm saying, I was way cuter. Mizuki and I live under the same roof, she doesn't tell me about her personal life. She doesn't tell me about much of anything, come to think of it. I'm totally in the dark. So, Mizuki must come here to hang out sometimes. It's not surprising her dad's here. 
Are you Aset? Let me confirm something. You're Aset, right? <laughs> Let's play a game. Shadows! What? Um, Thread? Silhouette? Aset! What? Fears! Uh, upset? Regret? Aset! Are we rhyming? Water! Um... Set? Uh... Water? Set? What, what ends in set that's kind of like water? What does he say? Wet, sweat, wet. oh, damn it. Ah, oh, I could have gotten that. One more. Yay. Damn it. Set, you bet. Wet, how did I not think of wet? The magnetic currents in the atmosphere oh, I feel are so fucking dumb. aberrant behavior. We should leave at once. It's a, a set probably is 15. Yeah, maybe. How old are you? Look, we can just ask her. I turned 18 this year. Bullshit! Bullshit, you're a legal adult. Legal adults don't talk like that. You sound like someone suffering from two knee bjoll. There ain't no way you're 18. 18 year olds don't talk like you do. A senior in high school? Yep. Date, I recommend you keep your hands to yourself. Ew. Don't worry. I'm not gonna make a move. What? Oh, I meant Ota. Wait, you were gonna make a move <laughs> on me? <laughs> what is happening? Oh, ew. Ugh. There ain't no way. Homegirls don't act like that. And if they do, you stay away. What's your relationship with Ota? Relationship? You dating? We're he likes you. In a summon thrall. What the fuck does that mean? Thrall? If Tessa ever gets in trouble, I swoop in and protect her. She asked you to do that, Bucko? You sound more like a superhero than a thrall. How old is Oda? Always defends me when I'm getting bashed online. Oh shit, do you now? Is that a brownie? Okay. Sam, come here. I need your advice. This kid and this bitch be sitting together. Yeah. How old do you think she is? How old do you think she is? Mm -hmm. 15? That's a weird comment. They say she's 18! They're like, no, she ain't! I mean, she don't look like an 18. Girl. Nah, dude, she ain't acting like one either, Is man. she 15, though? No, she's 18! Oh, ain't that wild? That's what he just said. Sorry, my brain's fried. I'm doing the same activity. Lindo said hello. Hello. Are you gonna continue back to your activity? Oh, Best. Yeah. Oh, luckily, I worked hard so I get a little break. Uh huh. So I'm gonna play some hunt. Okay. What? You're not. Like, later you could take a break and we could watch, like, a show together. You were streaming till 10. Yeah. That's what you did. I'll get a break later, too. You're not gonna stream all night again? Or play well, all night? I will. <laughs> but there should be some time in there. Okay. It's just a. <laughs> Like I said, I wish we, I could have got up early today. That's really when we could have hunted. That's okay. <laughs> because it's tomorrow. That's the thing. Raid starts tomorrow. What time? 3 p.m. Fucking yikes, bro. What? That's a yikes! What do you mean? That just sucks for you. You think you can do it with just, like, tonight? Cause you're gonna like wake up and go raid, right? Literally, yeah. Alright. But, yeah, I have to get my other stuff. If I get lucky with my next three drops, this could go really quick. Well, okay. We'll Best of luck. Sam got sucked into a first day Destiny raid. And he hates it, but it's okay. Yeah, also no shot. <laughs> Felix! I apologize if this background music is super loud. Hello! Well, come on in. How was your- were you artin'? Hello, hello. Cray, hello. How's it going? Oh my gosh, can't spell your fucking name. There we go. Yo, 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 you were artin'? Of course, you always be artin'. I saw your art yesterday. You were drawing a really cute looking cat boy. <laughs> Ugh. Cool, cool. I'm doing well. Hello, waiters. Welcome on in. My name is Sandra. I'm your squirrel girl. Yeah. 
we're we're playing AI Somnia. Uh, we've been streaming for six and a half hours. You know how it be. How you, how's everyone doing? Uh, right now we're like uh, interrogating people about a murder and stuff. So yeah, it's kind of Phoenix Wright esque this game. Bushy Insurance is a crazy fucking username. How did you get that username? Jesus Christ. Stop. You're making me blush. This guy. <laughs> I've ever seen a stream? Really? I did, um... I did a 24-hour stream when we played through uh, Dishonored 2. That was super fun. Love that. <laughs> Hello, Lord Pontifex. Pontifex. Got it. Hello. Um... No. Something wrong. The fact you're 18, which are when you sound and you act like you're 15. Um, we need to talk to him more about the manager guy. Oh, it's the wife. You know who this is, right? It's yeah, a dead body. It's the woman I saw at Bloom Park. Her name is Shoko Nadami. Okay. I saw it on the news. Wait, do you not know who her daughter is? She has a daughter? I didn't know that either. They must be unaware that Shoko is Mizuki's mother. Okay. Maybe because her last name is different. Nadami and Okiura. Right. That's not surprising. It has also not yet been reported that Shoko is Renju's ex-wife. Right. Did you talk to her about last night? Oh, um... I heard about it. About Ota seeing that corpse at Bloom Park. He told me. He just told you? Yes, huh? Why didn't you come to the police? Either Such of you. shocking story would certainly pique the young woman's interest. It is possible Ota wanted her attention. He told her about a dead body he found for attention? That doesn't surprise me. Actually, I already knew about it before Ota told me. Yeah. How? I killed her. <laughs> I'm it's kidding. all over the internet. When I saw Ota this morning, I asked him about it. He told me he saw the body. Mm. Interesting. Gee, Tessa, you always look so cute. Sandra, she's my baby dude. Thank you, Bussy Assurance. <laughs> so, so cute. Yikes, man. So cute that I can't take it. Don't you think so too, Date? You're awfully familiar with her. Familiar is a good way. I can't help it. Her loving aura is in the air. When I'm with I her, don't have a favorite just... character. I've been playing for like an hour. My head gets all light, and I just relax and don't sweat the small stuff, you know? Sure. Ugh. Hey, about sock puppeting. Hey, let me tell you something. <laughs> it's about those posts on two winner. <laughs> Wait! Huh. Looks like you're my thrall now. Isn't that right, Ota? Yeah, just be cool. <laughs> yeah, okay, let's leave. Dante. I have determined that these two have no further information for us. That doesn't surprise Our me. Our goal is to find the murderer of Shoko Nadam. She's an that idol, not an e-girl. Right. Let's head back to the crime scene. Hmm? Hmm? See you kids later. Um, where are you going? Back, back to, to the where crime the scene. Was found. In that case, I'll go with you. You will fucking not. You'll what? Please take me with you. They're not headphones, I don't think. I think they're just a... Like, her ear isn't covered. I think it's just a headband. Why? Because I want to know more about what happened. A fucking... No. Do you have any suspects? Probably some crazy murderer, right? That's what Ota was telling me. The corpse was strung up on that merry-go-round. It must have been some kind of twisted message. Respectfully, you're... We're not bringing her, right? We're not bringing her. That's not happening. Dante looks hot. I like Ota, it very much. <laughs> Just do it! That we are not- This is not- What is happening right now? Mr. Dante! <gasps> She's gonna hug us. 
Yikes. Ew. Get off me. Please, Mr. Dante! You can't leave me! What? Oh. I can't imagine life I'm without gonna, you! I'm melting inside my head. What are you doing? Pull her off of you. Ocha, did you get it? Oh, uh, yeah. What is happening? Oh, it's the busty lady! Hi, lady. How's it going? He- Are you blackmailing us? Are you blackmailing us? Is that what's fucking happening right now? Mr. Date, you are a member of the MPD, aren't you? Are we getting blackmailed? A public servant? I wonder... What would happen <gasps> if this little video you're, you're, happened to go viral? You're literally joking. You wouldn't. You're joking. Oh, and just so you know, taking my phone away won't help. It's already in the cloud. You little... You're joking. What? No, she's 18. She just acts like she's 15. Oh, it looks so small. Oh, not at all. I'm just imagining your body sinking into Tokyo Bay. <laughs> I'm used to sinking. Part of the job. What? Sinking? Huh? What are you doing? I told you! I want you to take me to the scene of the crime. No! If you do, I promise I'll delete the video. Date. A thought has occurred to me. Yes, Iba, please. She really is quite the seductress. Iba! No, she's fucking not! What? We are not taking her to the crime scene, are you joking? You're joking. You're joking. I really don't want to take her to the crime scene. No, she's definitely a fucking witch. What the fuck? How is that? How is that? We're at, we're taking her to a crime scene? Hey, says in the passenger seat. Sick. Love that. About about Mizuki. We're good friends. We go to movies and karaoke. Date, and bro. <laughs> take a little. I don't want to, dude. I don't want to take her to the She's crime really scene. She's really good at listening to me bitch and moan about my problems. I'm so much older than her, but it really doesn't even feel like it. It does feel like it. It does feel like it. You're definitely. You definitely have a very young mindset. Lock her in the car. About Oda. Why do you ask? You two are very close, for an idol and a fan. Ota is... special. Uh-huh. He really is like... a hero to me. Hero, huh? Why do you become an idol? I don't even care. Well, I don't care why she became an idol. because... I've always wanted to be famous, you know? I want to be famous. Get on TV. Be a household name. Oh, Asa, what a wonderful reason. You're not there yet. Jesus it's Christ. Right. Internet stars do better if they don't sell out. Internet star? Oh, oh she is an e-girl. I'm most famous on the internet. She is an e-girl, chat. Do songs and dances <gasps> and play video games. She's a streamer. Street. She's a streamer. Oh, no. Have you heard of Shovel Forge? Oh, no. Shovel Forge is a game in which you manipulate cubes on the terrain to build structures. It's- it's Minecraft, right? Shovel... Pick... I don't know. It, it's kind of Minecraft is. She's a TikToker? No, she said she streams, man. I've been focusing a lot on that game lately. Well, what about being on TV? I've I'm been on TV. very popular yet. I can only get on TV as a background singer or something. I don't get many gigs either. I don't- we're not idols. Streamers are not idols. We're influencers, but idol is like... To me, idol is like singing and dancing and stuff. Gender bed beauty pie? Nah, dude. Well, at first.
first, all I did was stream from home. And then, not to sound cocky, but I started getting pretty big. I'll have you know, I have 23 followers. I started getting offers from agencies. But why didn't you take them? And one of them was Lemniske? Well, not exactly. Yeah. I don't. I, a streamer wouldn't be signed onto an idol agency. My mom's actually an old friend of the president of the agency. A friend of Renju's? Yeah. Okay. So I asked him for advice one day. Mm hmm. You know, you have to be careful. Uh -huh. Even a place that looks legitimate with an office and everything can be sketchy. It can be. And my mom and I didn't know anything about the industry at all. Anyway, Sorry. one day, Mr. Okiura said to come see him at his office, and he hooked me up. No, <laughs> is it your boy streaming story yet? So that's what I'm saying. Do you have any questions for me? Questions. Questions. Ah, what's it like being a detective? Wouldn't know much about that. I'm not a detective. Mm -hmm. But... You are a cop, right? Aset realizes she just got in the car with a stranger <laughs> who may not even be anybody with the police force. She's like, wait, uh, you're a cop, right? I didn't just get in the car with a random stranger, right? right? But I'm not on the crimes unit. Then what unit are you in? What indeed? You aren't gonna tell me? Please? Aset, you don't even know me. I could just be kidnapping you. Jesus Christ. What are you doing? She's just on her phone. thinking about posting that video. Oh my god. Whoa, whoa hold up. Can we just stab a bitch? She's 18, well, we can stab her. Me. About the video. You know, now that I think about it, post you it. get in trouble for that video too? Yeah, post what? it. Who gives a fuck? The video. Yeah, all your fans will be like, what the fuck is this? You're an idol, right? You have a status to maintain. That's why, yeah, idol is, it's kind of sad, idol status and stuff, but. If that video went viral, I think you'd be Me at 15 too. confirmed. It's okay. Uh, it is? Because sometime real soon, I'm going to die. Eh? 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 I'm sorry? What? I can see into the future. Fuck off. Is she being for real? I don't know if she's being for real or not. I know when I'm going to die. When are you going to die? Are you gonna get murdered? <laughs> Just kidding! I can make your future come real right now. Right so. fucking now, bitch. I will crash anyway, this car. I'm not going down without a fight. So I will release that video if you don't cooperate. About my department. Part of a special investigation unit known as Abyss. Date. I don't have a choice. We do What's have Abyss? a choice. We can lie to her. She doesn't know shit. We just lie. Date, my God, Advanced you're an adult. Brain investigation squad. The public doesn't know about it. Wow, cool. Don't tell anyone. I promise I won't. She's an idol. She's literally gonna tell everyone. She's gonna hop on stream and be like, "Hey guys." <laughs> I heard about this super thing, cute, cool thing called Abyss. It's a secret uh, department in the police. I swear to the Egyptian goddess Isis. Don't, um, that's not. Okay. Ask her, what's your real name? By the way, I didn't catch your name. You really want to know? That's okay if you don't want to tell me. She knows, we know her first name, don't we? Iris Sagan. I guess you don't. I know, weird, right? Oh, her name's Iris. That was the name- that was the plant that we had. It was Iris. Yeah. We got some kind of memory or something coming Rattie in. Cake, Rattie cake, baker's man. Is that her? Bake me we know her? As fast as you can. My name is so quirky, I'm Iris. <laughs> Something wrong? That's not surprising because we're friends of her dad. No, we might have known her when she was younger. No, that's the other girl. Uh, I don't know. Patty cake. You don't know patty cake? They weren't doing it right, but it was patty cake. Bloom Park Saturday at 1 12 p.m. I don't like her. I don't like her either. Excuse me. You Konami Date. That's me. That's right. 
And the girl? An asshole. She's an important witness for this case. Yep, yep. Jesus fucking Christ. She's 18. We've got business here. Am I just older than I thought? Are 18 year olds like that? They're not like that, right? Oh, uh, okay. Is that thing you do if you wanted a super cool handshake? What are you talking about? Patty cake is not a super cool handshake. You just, you like clap and stuff. Iris couldn't hold back her excitement and rushed onto the scene. That's cool. At least the body's not here anymore. Last night, Miski was found inside the center column. Why was she sitting in there? Jaman! Hi, Jaman! One way month, one one month away from a year. Oh my god, I'm so excited! Thank you, Jaman. Is that a phone booth? Thanks for being here, uh, Spear King. I'll see you later, okay? No, it's the control room. <laughs> Shit, TV. <laughs> this is where the staff would run the merry-go-round. I was joking. Uh, should we talk to the police? It's not looking too good. Yes, I'm excited for your we big tree. All over here, but we didn't find nothing. Ah. Uh, uh. Sick. Um. You're wasting your time. What are you doing? Have you been here before? When I was younger, but not since it closed. Kabasaki is restricted, right? No one's supposed to be here. Oh, is that this? This amusement park, Blue Park, Got it. is located at the heart of the Kabasaki district. It was closed eight years ago. The closure was due to an accident at a nearby chemical plant. Yikes. An explosion caused massive amounts of chemical pollutants mm. to contaminate the area. The government quickly issued evacuation orders. Got Eventually, it. the entire district was deemed unsafe for habitation, and therefore, Bloom mm. Park was permanently closed. Yikes. But a restricted area doesn't mean much if there aren't enough officers to patrol it. There's still plenty of ways in. You can even get in by boat. Hell, some people ignore the evac order and are still living here. Are hmm. they okay? I don't know. But if anything happened to them, it'd be their own fault. Are we safe? That's a good we question. Are, yeah. Decontamination for this area is basically done. The chemical concentration around here isn't high enough to hurt you. You could run a marathon here and be okay. But it's still off limits, right? Yes, legally. That keeps the media out, at least. I'm glad. It's quieter than it usually is. What do you mean? If no one lives here, how is it any louder than it is right now? What are you doing? I was trying to find some clues. She's a natural detective, huh? Mm-hmm. Mr. Date, was the body on top of this horse here? Yeah, that's the one. Hmm. Seems like some kind of ritual murder to me. What? Maybe a religious cult sacrificing her to the devil or something. What? They conducted their ritual here. Like shadowy, hooded figures going around and around, stabbing her one by one. Iris. That's quite an imagination. But do you have any proof? This is a real person's murder we're talking about here, dude. I do. Well, let's hear it. The horses. Horus? Uh-huh. Sounds kind of like Horus, right? Sh fucking sure. What are you talking about? <laughs> How did you draw that conclusion? You don't know Horus? Horus is the Egyptian god of the sky and sun. Oh, of course. The right eye is the eye of Ra, and that's I do know that. I did know that. The left eye is the eye of Wajet, and that one is the moon. Mm -hmm. It's the same idea behind the eye of Providence. Uh -huh. The Eye of Providence? The all-seeing eye. Oh, I see. Just like what's on the back of a $1 bill. Yeah, exactly. 
There's one dollar bill in our basket the in our head. Is supposed to be the symbol of Freemasonry in the Illuminati. Starting to see the picture? Not really. It's the Illuminati. Oh, please. I remember Ota describing the scene. Mm -hmm. He said there was an ice pick stabbed into the corpse's left eye socket. Horus? Providence? Left eye? There has to be some kind of meaning to this. Wait, what did you just say? That makes what? sense. She stabbed, she pulled it the out of the eye. The inside the victim's left eye socket? Yeah, what do you think? You think, how do you think the homegirl got it? Yeah. Ota told you that? He's sure that's what he saw. Yeah. Why? When we arrived at the scene, the ice pick was not Whoa! in the victim's eye socket. <laughs> Lord, Lord. That is, that is, that's quite a, a thing you've got going on. I hope your date goes well. I guess. If Ota's telling the truth. You would have no reason to lie about such a detail. She pulled it out of her mom. That's not surprising. Tezuki. No. They arrived together and saw the corpse. Hey, Iris, I don't know what you're trying to accomplish here, but you're wasting your time. What do you mean? The cops already scoured the place. They didn't find any leads, not a single clue. If they had, they would have notified Iba. Iba? My partner. Your partner? I don't see anybody. She's right in front of your eyes. Or she's right in front of my eyes. Here, 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 here. Iba, can you show me the earliest recorded images of the scene of the crime? Was it different? What is your intention? Shoko's cause of death was blood loss from multiple stab wounds with the ice pick. That's what they said. Naturally, there should be plenty of blood. But there's Agreed. none. But there isn't a single drop on the horse. No. And it was like this when we found it. Correct. There are no signs of blood being wiped or washed off either. So she was killed somewhere else. That must mean. She was killed somewhere else. Last night, Shoko's corpse was on top of the horse. It has been removed. The body has been transported to headquarters for autopsy and review. There's a hole in it from the years of wear. Okay. And? Mr. Date, that horse. That was stored in the warehouse nearby. Some kids must have broken in and put it up as a joke. Horse fender, that's right. I don't understand. Aren't we done? But hey, if you sense any trouble, you can hop in there and change. How old are you, making that reference? I suspect that she did not give you her real age, knowing what a phone booth is. Oh, she ain't older than 15. Oh, she's not older than 18. You cannot convince me of that. Give me a second. Give me a second. <laughs> Sorry about that chat. Kitten screams when she needs something. Okay. So, here's the recap. 
Dead lady on top of horse. Stabbed a lot. Missing her eye. Her daughter is found inside the merry-go-round, holding the murder weapon. Fa the daughter came to the murder scene after mom was murdered with a boy. Boy ran away and called the police. Don't know what happened in between there. We know someone killed Mizaki's mom. Mizuki, pardon me. Left the eye pick in her socket and she wasn't killed on the merry-go-round. Correct. She was killed somewhere else and then displayed there with the ice pick. Correct. She's not guilty. We didn't really think she was guilty because she came after the murder. Pulled, right, yeah, I think she just pulled it out. Aren't we done? I guess we're not done. A black and white bear? I'm not gonna be punished, am I? What are you talking what? about? <laughs> Nothing. Just thinking about a game I like. Oh, it's a Danganronpa me oh, uh, thingy. A Danganronpa whatever doodle. I know what you're thinking, Mr. Date. You wanted to see me dance on that pole, huh? Iris Christ! What the hell are you talking about? What the fuck, Iris? You're supposed to be an idol. You can't say shit like that. What? Jesus Christ, dog. Kind of makes I would me angry. burn all those damn benches if I could. Where is this anger coming from? Because he doesn't have a love interest, I guess. I don't know. So he has to be like a, I don't know, mad at everything. Oh, Iris can talk to me again. We should go. Oh come on! Just a no. I'm already in enough trouble bringing a civilian in here. Okay, yes. Shut up, Iris. That's what I'm saying. Shut the fuck up. Oh. Pass out. Actually pass out, hey, guy. You alright? Are you okay? Morning sickness. You're pregnant? You're pregnant? You're kidding. Iris, I swear it's to fucking like god. I, I swear to fucking god, Iris. I fucking Oh, I'm gonna punch you in your face I'll so give hard. You a ride home. Yeah, score. Ew, no. We don't know her. But how much do you weigh? That's weird. Don't you know it's rude to ask a lady that? That's weird. Yeah, don't don't ask people that. Pounds. I see. 105, huh? She's really tall to be 105 pounds. Yeah. Your back is so warm, Mr. Date. This is the weirdest fucking experience I've ever had in my life. <laughs> Your back is so warm, Dante. Thanks for the piggyback ride. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, we had to talk to her again. You know, I'm feeling kind of bored. Seriously? <sighs> Yes, Iris. What do you want? Oh, uh, horrible. Shame. <laughs> oh, you should worry about me more. We Looks don't like know you. We don't know you. We don't Maybe need to be worried about acting. you. Yeah, I don't think so. What if I threw up right here? Do it. Fucking do I it. Put it right back where it came from. Yikes, Dante. Ew, that makes me actually want to throw up. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Iris has opened the passenger window. Iris, please, dog. Please be cool, man. Oh. Wait, seriously? No, but I am kind of warm. The current temperature is 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Humidity, 60%. It is unlikely that heat would be a factor. Hey, Dante, 
They yes. say when you stick your hand out of a car going a hundred, you get a rush like you're holding D cups. <laughs> sure. Hey, watch it. You'll get your arm ripped off. That's not how that works, Dante. <laughs> Relax, I'm invincible. My arm regenerates like an alien's. I'm sure it Didn't does. Didn't you tell me that you're gonna die soon? It feels strange. Your hand? <laughs> no, not that. It feels like I've met you. We have met before. Well, that's nice. But if you don't get your damn hand back in this car right now. <laughs> okay, okay. The wind feels nice. Ooh, bitch. Oh, it's hard to talk to you. She's gotta be like 15. She's got two and you'd be all so bad in her mind, dude. Oh, well, why are we at her house? 3 p.m. Saturday. We're at her house. We're not going inside her house. Why are we inside in. her house? No, we should no, not. That's all right. I'm gonna Thank you. Ooh, going home already. We don't know each other. We don't know each other. What is happening? I said my goodbye and turned to leave. By the corner of my eye. Oh my god, it's the dead lady from our dream. It's the dead mom from our dream. Who is way cuter, by the way. Oh, who is this, Iris? I felt my body freeze. Because that woman, she's the one from my dream. That was dead, yeah. It can't be, it can't be. I felt like my mind and body were torn in opposite directions. As I stood there stunned, Iris grabbed my hand. Do not grab my hand. Come on, I'll make some tea. Why? Why do we have to- uh, This is so such a weird thing. Oh, hello, Mom. You're- Nice to meet you. Oh. I'm Iris's mother, Hitomi. Hitomi, hi. Yes, Hitomi. And you are? Date. Hanami Date from the MPD. Police? Are you a detective? No, Mom. Mr. Date said he's. Iris? Oh, right. Jesus fucking Christ. It's nothing. Don't worry about it. Okay. After an awkward silence, Iris brought us some tea on a tray. She put everything down on the table and sat down on the sofa. Coffee table. Alright, let's look around. There's a phone. Answering machine. It's the irises! Flowers. Winter irises. Yep. It's an iris. <gasps> Ew! 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 This is the house from our dream! An iris. It's a little different. In May. That's the winter iris. Iris ungicularis. They bloom in the cold. They bloomed just this morning. I see. In the language of flowers, the iris means good news and hope. When I saw the flowers this morning, I just knew something good would happen. This is the house from our dream. That's the light switch. And over here is going to be the basket. Oh, ew, ew. <laughs> Oh, I hate this. Oh, I hate this. Oh, I hate it. Oh, why did we dream of this place and now we're here? Okay, I- okay. Eh? I wonder what they smell you like. You are beyond perverted. Hey, these thoughts are private, okay? You wonder what her shoes smell like? It's a calendar and a strange object on the shelf. Some kind of angel? What do you mean it reminds you of some kind of angel? It's a cube or whatever. Um. Okay, so. I'm a little, I'm a little concerned because 
we're in the skeleton spot on the couch. Uh, I don't like that. That is a thing I don't like. Um... Can you touch the- yeah. Two speakers and a long thin box in the middle. It's like... You know. Mr. Date? What are you staring at? Your sound system. My sound system? Uh, what about it? I was just admiring it. I wish I had one that big. Right. Is it making some kind of penis joke? I don't personally see it, but okay. Okay, so... <sighs> this is... I'm super fucking worried about this. Um... Yes, I saw this entire room in my dream last night. Problem, no, that's nothing. Iris was there? Why can't we tell her? Oh, it's them. Cool. I can't see them from here, but there's probably a sink and stove on the other side. A microwave. Iva, let me know if you're cold. <laughs> I'll pop you in there and warm you up. I would suggest putting your heart in there first. Yikes, I a refrigerated. A riddle. Go off. How do you put a giraffe in a refrigerator? In pieces. What? The solution is this. You open the door, put the giraffe in, oh. and close the door. Right. What kind of a riddle is that? Another riddle. Okay, go off. How do you put an elephant in the refrigerator? You you can't because there's a giraffe in it. Isn't it the same answer? Open the door, put it in, close the door. Incorrect. The giraffe yes. is already inside. You must remove the giraffe before you put the elephant inside. That is the solution. The riddles could use some work. Ah, fuck, okay. We could always sit here and ask the spirits what they think. It's not a divining table. God, okay, I, I, God, I really don't want to talk. Okay, hi, he told me. Uh, may I ask how old you are? 34? 37. 37, ooh, yeah, you and are. Cyrus here is 18? Yep. You were very young when you had her. Excuse you? Yes, just 19 years old. What about your husband? Oh, he's dead. I don't have one. Divorce? Death. Mr. Date, please. It's all right, Iris. Is he dead? I've never been married. Oh! A single mother. Yes. Got it. So we have an inn. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, where do you work? I'm a teacher at the local elementary school. We love that. We teacher. love that. Must be a tough job. Oh, <laughs> not for me. I love children. Even the struggles and challenges are quite rewarding for me. So about the boy, the dad, By the way, or whoever this guy is. I heard that you were friends with the president of Lemniscate, Mr. Yes. Okiura. Renju was my classmate at Eitoku High. Is she our We've classmate too then? For 20 years now. Eitoku High. Did we go there? You know it? I know everything on the internet. Do you know his ex-wife? Yes, I do. But I only met her twice. Once at Renju's wedding, and then again just a few months ago. Why do you ask? She's dead. No reason. Just kidding. Why did you meet her a few months ago? That's impossible. Do you know me? Oh, uh, sorry for the strange question. It just feels like we've met before. That's what Ira said too. No. This is the first time we've met. Of course. Fuck. Just drink your tea, then. Workbooks. Elementary school workbooks. The one in the middle is different. A sumo wrestler directory. That is something. 
All right, Iris. Ah, uh, you seem to be doing well now. Yeah, thanks to you, I feel as tough as a lion. Rawr! Okay. How am I supposed to react to that? Don't think about it. You'll only hurt yourself. What were you saying? Mr. Date, please drink your tea. It's getting cold. Oh, right. <laughs> we haven't even touched our cups. Well then, let's have a sip. Is she gonna poison us all? We can all get knocked out. Are you left-handed? She wasn't left-handed oh. then, was she? Uh, Mom used to be right-handed. But now... <clears throat> oh, it's limp. It locked up on me. Oh. oh I see. Did she have a stroke? She's pretty young for a stroke. Oh, I kind of want to leave, but I don't want her to die. I'm wondering if there's anything I can do to prevent Since her from I was dying. Born, and mom was living here before that. I grew up in this house. I've made a lot of memories here. I've thought about moving before, but I just couldn't bring myself to leave this place. Why were you considering I missed an moving? innuendo. Did I? Well, because there was, well, I don't know. A spirit? Huh? A demon? There was a demon? Alright, she's not gonna talk about it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I was just thinking about a hunch I had this morning. A hunch? There are flowers blooming behind me, right? There are, yeah. What about them? <laughs> what? What about them? I was just thinking about the flowers blooming behind her. Yeah? Iris was hinting about the flowers blooming behind her. What? So fucking what? Alright, I guess there's nothing more we can do about that. Alright, we're leaving. Well, I think it's time for me to be heading home. Touch our cups. Ah! Got it. I thought she said we. We haven't touched our cups. We'll see each other again, right? Very soon, when your mom dies. You sure you want that? I'm a cop, after all. If you ever see me again, it probably won't be under the best of circumstances. Oh. But, because you're Mizuki's friend, yeah, we might see each other again. She is kind of like my roommate, after all. Oh, he's, released, he's revealing anyway, it. Anyway, he's seeing you. Is she really- is the mom really gonna die? Oh. Oh, right. Uh, excuse me. Well, I should head home. Alright, take care, Date. Is she really gonna die? That's so confusing to me. Really? Is she really going to die? Why? Date, let's go over the facts of the case. I, I can't. He's just sitting on my lap. Allow me to introduce myself. Hi, my name is Kaname Date. Nice to meet you. What? Date? <laughs> I have the same name. What a coincidence. Why am I talking to myself? Perhaps he's had too much medication. Ah, she's in the steering wheel. Timeline of events. Iba, can you give me a timeline of the events of the crime? At once. I wonder who sent that Nile message to Mizuki. Shoko dies at five. Sometime after that, the daughter gets a message, tells her to come to the park. Three out, or uh, at eight, she tells Oda, come with me to the park at 9. They get there and they discover the corpse. Oda calls on the payphone. Mizuki takes the whatever out of the course and then 
gets locked up inside the whatever. We arrive at the scene at 11. Probably the culprit themselves. But Mizuki wouldn't obey the instructions of a complete stranger. Maybe not. Then Mizuki knew the sender. That's what I'm thinking. No worries, Alpha. Or the suspect used her friend's phone. Iba, can you hack into the phone and find out who sent the Nile message? Nile's security protocols yeah. are intricate. It will take time to decipher. Hey, me. Want to play a game? Sure. sure. Let's play I Spy. I Spy something round. Steering wheel. My eyeball. Correct. Dang. I win. I will terminate you. Don't push yourself, Dante. No, I'm, I'm fine, fine, Dante. Dante. You do not <laughs> appear to That's be pretty good. fine. How about the blood stains? When we arrived on the scene, there was no blood on the horse the body was mounted upon. Which means the merry-go-round wasn't the murder scene. Right. Shoko was killed somewhere else and then brought there to be displayed. That means Mizuki couldn't have done it. We knew that before. She's 12. She can't move a body or drive a car. Were you considering her a suspect? That's part of the job. She arrived there with Oda. If there's even the slightest possibility. Then this is good news. It means the likelihood of Mizuki being the killer is almost zero. I knew that from the start. Yeah. She would never put her hands on her own mother. She doesn't have what it takes to commit murder. Why was she inside the column? Perhaps she was playing hide and seek. From who? Her dead mom? Hide and seek? It was not a serious suggestion. I was merely joking, as you call it. No joking in a murder case, please. The estimated time of death is yesterday, Friday, around 5 p.m. The cause of death is blood loss from multiple stab wounds to the torso. The weapon used to commit the murder is almost certainly the ice pick Mizuki was holding when we discovered her. Right. There were no fingerprints, hair, or other clues left behind by the culprit. Right. The corpse was found tied up on one of the horses of the merry-go-round. This I'm my thank you for the lurk. The killer had no intention of hiding their crime. Rather, it appears as though it was displayed deliberately. Our perp wants the limelight. Or is attempting to send some kind of message. Don't send him to see yourself with your naked eye. Well, not naked eye, left eye. That'll suck it, walking around. Uh-huh. Right. The corpse was found with her left eye removed. That eyeball has yet to be found. According to Iris's testimony, when Ota first discovered the body, the ice pick was still lodged in the left eye socket. So why did Mizuki have the ice pick? She pulled it out of the eye. Could she have taken the eye? Mm, I don't think the eye was in there when, the, when it was in the... Yes, as a matter of fact. I checked the surveillance cameras around Bloom Park again. Uh-huh. And I noticed something strange. Okay. Something strange? There were no cars. Yesterday, in the parking lot and the streets in the vicinity, there was not a single vehicle. So how'd the body Are get you there? sure? I am. Then, how did the suspect move the corpse? I have no idea. Is there a secret compartment under the Senum column? Okay, I think that's where we're going to leave this game today. <sighs> Welcome back. I brought her here after her examination was over. Oh, Mizuki's there. Mizuki. Has she said anything? No, still can't talk. Was it okay for you to bring her here? <laughs> it's okay, Mild. I got permission from the hospital.
Apparently, the hospital director has been poking a few of the nurses. Yikes. So I asked him about that, and all of a sudden, he seemed very open to the idea. That's not permission, it's blackmail. <laughs> eh, same thing. You know what you need to do now, right? Sink Question her. her. Sync with her. I wasn't really planning on doing that right now. What is this? I was gonna end the game. I was gonna end the stream. Hi, Peter. Okay, I should be able to... There we go. Save. Save. But we're like two... Two hours in or something? Two hours, 15 minutes. There we go! Thank you everyone so much for coming today. I super duper appreciate you being here. Uh, and thank you everyone who came to just watch me uh, do nothing. <laughs> uh, and work on my my work. I really appreciate it. Um, let us see who is on Oh, pardon me. Do, 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 do. Boop, 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 boop. Thank you all again for coming today. Tomorrow is going to be Fallout. Um, we are going to be saving the Rangers. And then um, Saturday will be... Ooh, we're supposed to play this again, but my mom wanted me to see her. So I might have an earlier stream. We'll have to see. If I didn't work, I totally would have chilled the stream. No, no worries, my old. Please, don't worry about it. It's okay. Life happened, you know? <sighs> um, Staryu is rigging, and it looks super cool. Um, Jamila is, is doing origami. Kiming is also doing art. I closed my eyes for five minutes and an hour passed. That's okay. <laughs> Sometimes it be like that, man. Sometimes the, um, time just be flying when you're having fun. Let's raid Star You Gummy. He's ra he is uh, rigging some super cool art. I know nothing about rigging, so when I watch someone rig, it's very like, whoa! <laughs> for me, but. Thank you all so much for coming today. I really appreciate it. Like I said, sa Saturday's stream might be at a different time uh, than previously proposed, because I think my mom is in town. So, we will see. Probably just do it a little bit earlier in the day. Um, but yeah, we'll be playing this game again. Tomorrow is Friday, and we're going to be playing uh, Fallout. So if you're interested in watching the Fallout stream where we're going to save the Rangers, Riley's Rangers, then uh, be there or be square. I love you all very much. I hope you all have a very good rest of your day. <sighs> oh, pardon me. I hope you have a very good rest of your day, and I will see you tomorrow. So yeah! Cool. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna go raid Star Yugami. I don't know. Say hi. He's cool. So, see you then. Bye!